Before we move on to create our config.php, let's first include this file inside of the autoload.php. So require once, and we will be requiring once, once config.php. Only config.php without any folder before this, because config.php will be inside of our ink folder as well. So let's create this new file, call it config.php. And inside of the config.php, we start with the opening PHP tag. The first thing, because the entire application will be using uh, sessions, let's first check if isn't set session, which means if session variables haven't been set yet, session start. Okay, so that's the first thing. It should always be right at the top of, uh, above all the coding and everything. So that's why it has to be in this position. Next uh, thing, we will, we will define a few uh, constants. The first one will be site uh, URL. Actually, it's not going to be a URL, site domain name with HTTP. Ouch. Okay. So defined. First, we check whether it's been defined and we call it site URL. Remember to use capital letters or define site URL and we start with HTTP, HTTP uh, colon forward slash forward slash double quote and now we type server and within the single quotes server name okay after this closing square bracket. Now what it does basically checks if it's defined, do nothing. Otherwise, define this constant. Now we copy this entire thing, paste it a new line. Now, before we move uh, forward, let's just explain what's what's happened here. Site URL will be the constant which we'll be using and we will have access to this const constant uh, from anywhere within the application because it's uh, in a file which is always going to be included on every single page. So uh, this site URL constant will have a value HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then the server name uh, predefined PHP variable. This uh, predefined variable basically uh, returns something like this. If let's say we have website www.http colon forward slash forward slash uh, www.google.com then what server name server server name returns is basically www.google.com uh, dot com. Even if it has any forward slash and any, any other elements of the path, let's say orders or whatever else, this strips all these elements and it only returns the domain name. If it has www, then it's gonna include this. If it hasn't, it's simply, it will simply be the domain name. So basically, this way dynamically we recognize what's, uh, what's uh, uh, the current site uh, domain name and we assign this to our site URL rather than pre putting the, actually this uh, here statically. Uh, it's it's automatically done by the script. So uh, next constant will be ds. Let's put some comment here. Directory separator. And directory separator basically is, uh, depending on what kind of system you're using, if it's Windows, it's going to be backslash because all the folders, all of the folders inside of the, on the Windows system are separated by backslashes. You may, you may remember C colon backslash and something. If it's uh, Linux or Macintosh, it's going to be a uh, forward slash. So again, we are dynamically recognizing what kind of separator is used for uh, directory structure. And now this one will use the predefined constant directory separator. Again, this is PHP predefined constant, so it will uh, automatically recognize what directory separator is used on this system. 